Uh, if you want me to give you guys a walk by, you know, step by step walkthrough of like how I jungle, I can almost guarantee that it will backfire in terms of winning the game. <laughs> there will be times that I will just be like, all right, the reason why I'm pathing towards top lane right now is because this is the most gankable lane. And lo and behold, they like recall. So I will do it this game, however, because I uh, care more about my viewers than winning, especially on this account. But that's just the reason why I stopped doing that as much is because it's way too easy to ghost uh, a streamer that actually gives you step-by-step -step walkthroughs on what I'm doing. That's why I stopped doing it. I will start doing it again, though. I'm going to start W on Krux, but take Q on Gromp because you get isolated damage right away. On Krux, you need to, you know, kill both of them, but this will be okay, too. If my bot lane Jin is leashing, this will mean a better leash than a typical AD carry because his fourth bullet is execute damage, and we'll have better sustain with my W. So we come away from that camp basically taking no damage. Oh shit, did I take the right page? Oh, I didn't take the right page. I don't actually know what masteries I have, but I don't have the 15%. You wanna kite this a little bit, start Gromp, go to blue second. You With the right setup, you'll have 25% uh, CDR after having blue. So you're running 10% from runes and have 5% from masteries, intelligence. And you just like spam W and Q and you jungle so quickly. I'm missing 5% uh, CDR though, because I took the wrong masteries. Between both of your abilities, like here, I'm, I want to kite it a little bit. Wait for my cooldowns to come back up, because you're much more reliant on uh, your abilities than just auto attacks as Kha'Zix. Finish the camp using W. Use W as many times as possible in order to maximize your sustain. The Gromp poison is going to kill the small ones. Plus, Hunter's Talisman does better if you're an AoE jungler because of the sustain you have. I haven't used any potions yet. I could actually do a full clear without using any potions with this setup. I'm probably going to use potions though, just in case uh, their jungler does jump me. But you could kite this camp, just like spam W and Q and smite it and be fine. But it'll take a bit longer doing that. And uh, we, we also care about like our clear speed and how fast we're getting to ganking. With the right runes and masteries, you can actually jungle on Kha'Zix without using any potions at all. Just kiting the camps a lot between Q and W. So like right here, Q and W are down on cooldown for a bit longer. I would just kite it like that, wait for some of my cooldowns to come back up, and then finish the camp. Okay, so we just did a full clear. Gromp to Krugs, very stable, orderly clear. I'm warding here to see if he's on River Crab, and looks like he's gonna recall. That would have been a good place to camp because uh, if Echo had stayed, I think Kennen would have stayed too. Right here, it's actually better to, to like camp around this area and see if we can get a Vi kill. We go hold mid, but I think it's more likely that we get a kill onto Kennen or Vi if we camp here because the lane's pushing towards my Echo, and so Kennen will probably come ward, and Vi could also come straight top. It looks like he's not though. Echo's losing the trade pretty badly. I'm really not sure where the Vi is right now. If I like came up behind the Echo, this would be a kill for sure. I saved my E there because I wasn't sure if Kinnon had flash. And if the Kinnon's running into me like that, she she'll probably uh, he will probably flash away, and then I won't have to use my flash if I just save my. Uh... We can get so much damage on this tower if Vi's not here. Okay, she is here. Just poke her a little bit. So much gold, we can just start up by Warhammer, and uh, it'll set me pretty far ahead. So it worked because Echo, like the the Kinnon hadn't warded yet and TP'd back to lane, and Echo was losing the trade so hard that if I wasn't there, uh, Echo would have died. So it was pretty good bait from Echo. My camps are back up. We want to use the most of the time we have and try to like do some of the camps before ganking. That way we can go back to farming after the gank. Probably not a good idea to follow this Karma Roam. It doesn't look that lucrative and their mid laner is going to hit six very soon. Mid lane hit six around six minutes. Depends on if they've left lane a lot and or they've gotten kills. And until our Malzahar hits six, it's not going to be gankable. I would rather farm to six and just keep ganking the lanes that I can get kills off of. Okay, so Zillion missed a little bit more experience than I realized. He should be six by now. He's six now, okay. A little bit later than expected though. Oh man, they got the dragon. Not much we can do about that because we did have vision in the area, but they sidestepped the vision and just went straight into the pit. And we can't just like spend all of our time early game uh, like camping that area. Uh, is this still pinked? We would notice if there's a ward because we have the Razor Sharp buff. That was a really bad time to step out of the bush and do a Violt. I should have tried to flash this wall, but uh, I didn't think they would be able to get by the Echo so quickly, but they just like double flash. Um, man, that was really bad timing because the lane was about to overextend and we could gank Kennen again, but Vi just showed up there. All right, 
Bot lane's looking really low. I'm gonna take this blue. Um, I usually take the early blues when I'm playing Kha'Zix because the carry presence is there. Okay, well, they, they see me here. Can't uh, bypass this pink unless I went all the way around. Just by being here, though, oh, there's a TP coming in. The cancel? Okay, nice, he got the cancel on it. Their jungler is probably down here now. Damn. I'm getting so many summoners. The kills are lacking, though. Oh, that is unlucky. Our bot lane's really scared, but I don't think they should be as scared. Oh well. I think we could have killed Vibe between me, Karma, and AD carry, but they were playing way too scared to make it work. Not a whole lot going on. I don't want to recall just yet, because I've got a full jungle to clear. And if I wait too long, Vibe could counter jungle me, since she's ahead of me right now. I will smite this, though, to try to clear out any vision in my jungle. And I'm going to be going back pretty soon anyways. Oh, maybe not. Kennen might have used summoners before. I can't see Kennen coming back to lane at all, so I'm just gonna go back to jungling. If you're behind, a lot of times their jungler will start like invading you and trying to kill you. Pick up a lot of damage. Pretty much everything that you want on Kha'Zix builds out a longsword, so you just grab them and decide what you're gonna build later. Get this farm that no one's gonna get because Malzahar's landing bot lane. All right, we should be able to kill this guy, I think. Dragon's up in 20. Oh, here we go. Let's do it. Nice. I didn't jump right away. I waited until Vi had ulted away to use my E. Hmm. A little bit early, but we should still try to pressure this. We just need... I got so low from that. No, 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 no. No, Jin, no. <laughs> Darn. Toxic. Oh, man. Lucian's alone here. Can I actually beat him 1v1? I'm not sure if I have the damage, but he's not isolated. Depends on what summoners he has up. Let's we'll see if he face checks me. Oh, what the fuck? That didn't kill him? Later, bitch. Oh my god. Okay, coming back in. Had to save Malzahar. I got the Lucian very, very low and would have killed him, but he got sped up, so the last auto got canceled. Counter jungled the wolf camp now. Like, when you have downtime like this, but your team is ahead, like you got more kills, you do want to counter jungle and just like try to get deep vision and see what they do. Like, they, someone could face check me here. Like, Vi could like panic and face check with me and Echo in the bush, and it'd be a kill. There's no way we can contest that blue. Oh shit, Karma, why'd you get that close? No, bud, no. I was close. If I didn't stealth, I probably would have gotten vile to and killed. You can input buffer your stealth uh, as you're landing. Shit, okay, the zillion. Oof, very nice. Oh, that's an ace. You can input buffer your W or your ultimate. You can't do both um, at the end of a jump. So you get it off a little bit faster than if you jump and then try to use W after. It's like while you're jumping, while you're jumping as Gazix, you use your W and it won't use it while you're in midair, but as soon as you're landing, you're using your W or your stealth. It's not very fun playing Kha'Zix when your team doesn't have a dedicated tank on it. Luckily we have Echo, but... So Echo went in and just soaked up like all of their ultimates and cooldowns and then I could go in and do that. But if we were playing Kha'Zix without a tank, 
we would pretty much never get the right play unless they go too aggro for a squishy. Because they could just sit there and wait for me to go in, and if I do go in, they would just immediately target me with everything and one-shot me. All right, we can finish it now because we took the other inhib. Even if that first inhib respawns, we've got this. 